Hey everybody, Davey here from Davey's World Fishing. Today we're going to talk a little bit about fishing the spinner bait, how to do it and what it is. Stay tuned. <laughs> Now a spinnerbait is another very highly effective tool to catch largemouth bass. Not only largemouth, smallmouth, and of course any of the saltwater bass species out here in Southern California. Spotted bay bass, sand bass, calico bass, highly underrated for those last three, but very effective for largemouth bass. And probably best known for that freshwater bass fishing. What a spinnerbait is, basically, <coughs> excuse me, is a bait, it's a bladed bait, so you're gonna have some kind of spinner, you're gonna have a, some blades, willow blades or Colorado blades, then you can have a little bit of a body with a hook at the very back. It splits up into two sections, sometimes three, in a V. You're pulling it, and as you do, these top spinners are gonna spin, and your bottom section down there, that's where those, those fish are gonna actually bite, and that's where you're gonna get your hookups at. This one happens to be a treble hook system. I use this particular bait quite a bit for spotted bay bass out here in Southern California. So it's a great spotty color. They like that white, they like that red, and the treble hook, you just get some pretty good hookups on those uh, spotties as well. But to fish this particular bait, you don't need anything super specific as far as rod and reel go. You can fish it on a spinning reel setup if you like, but uh, anything will do. I happen to have a braid set up here. I got 50 pound braid and I've got about a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader on here that's about two and a half to three feet long. Uh, the retrieve on this is a 6.5, so I'm getting about 28 inches of line per crank of the handle. And this is on a Nakuma Serrano. This is the seven foot medium action rod. Now fishing the spinner, very simple, nice long cast and a nice steady retrieve. Just a steady retrieve. You don't have to pop it, you don't have to work it, you don't have to keep the tip up, whatever you wanna do. You, know, you could do those things, but just a nice, straight, steady retrieve. So make those long casts, get that bait out there, and then just a nice, steady, straight retrieve. Uh, very simple to do. All you wanna do is you wanna get those blades turning and get that bait working. Now, a very effective thing to do is get this thing and work it right along the bottom. You wanna fish it where the fish are in the water column. So if you're on a boat and you have some electronics and you see those fish are suspended, cast it out there, work those suspended fish. A lot of times you're not gonna necessarily see those fish that are down towards the bottom, but make that long cast and work this thing right along the bottom, along the rocks, along the sand, along any of that structure. You can feel it bumping, you can feel it working. A lot of times it's gonna kick it out of whack a little bit, so you might need to speed it up or slow it down, but just you're keeping those blades, uh, blades going. So let's make a cast and I'll kind of show you what it looks like here. So you wanna get that out there. Not the ideal place, because I've got all this moss here, but get this thing out there and then you just wanna start your retrieve. Get those blades turning. I happen to have my rod tip up because I've got a lot of structure here in this spot. But just a nice straight retrieve on your reel now when you get to your structure, you want to get this thing back. Get it back over the moss. You're going to pick up a lot of moss if you happen to be in a mossy area. I know there's a lot of moss and grass at the bottom of this thing here. But you just want to be able to get it out past there, work it right along the bottom, make those long casts, and then you're ready to go. Let's make another little cast here. So this time we're just going to start it a little bit quicker. We're going to keep it off the bottom. So a nice straight retrieve. Point your line, point your bait, or point your rod right down towards your bait, and just a straight retrieve. When these guys hit, they're going to hit it hard. They're coming up, they're making the, uh, they're making the attack on that bait, and you'll be able to feel it pretty quick. And as soon as you do, just go ahead and lean right into it. You don't need a big wicked hook set. Very simple way to fish it. You don't need the big hook set. You don't need to really lean into it. But just give it that quick hook set, and you're on. Especially if you have the treble hook. But those single hooks, you know, you're going to get them usually in the upper upper lip, upper uh, the roof of their mouth. That's where you want that nice solid hook set. It's a very effective technique. You can use the gold blades, the copper blades, the silver blades, you know, depending on your cloud pattern here as well. It just depends how bright or how dark, the color of your water, if it's murky, if it's clear, um, you know, lots of different factors into it. Of course, there's colors. I, I can open up my spinnerbait box and I've got probably 20 or 30 different colors within that box alone. So it depends what you like to do. Like I said, mentioned, I like to fish those spotted bay bass. I like to fish the whites and the reds. White and red combo is solid, which just happens to be, it's a white skirted bait and it's got that red feathered hook on the back there. Very effective for spotties. Don't tell anybody on that one either, top secret. But um, great bait. Long cast, straight retrieve, very simple. Something you should definitely add to your arsenal. But I do appreciate y'all checking in. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below and subscribe to Davey's World Fishing. I'm in the right hand corner. See you on the water.